Okay, so probably a real person? Probably. Okay. Ooh, Doom, awesome. Okay, good. Thank you, Kale. Thank you, Kale, for vouching. That's the way we do it. It's contact tracing. If you know somebody and they know somebody, <laughs> you know somebody. Okay, excellent. All right, I'll get started here. Uh, Mrs. Perkins and Mr. Myers will continue to monitor the waiting room. It, this is Super Metroid. Super Metroid music. Uh, what's the date on that? 19... It's in the 19s, not 1990. I don't know. Good stuff, but I'll stop it now. Boom. All right, welcome. Uh, you can see my agenda on the screen here. So I've made my co-host for this meeting. The teachers will be helping take care of the audience. So you should have started lesson six. If you have, then I will have some data up here on the Google Forms. If you haven't started lesson six, then you still have, you know, due date is tomorrow, midnight. So you still have time. Uh, let's take a look here. The pretest data is, ooh, that one just changed. Awesome. So this is not quite a bell curve. It's more like a wedge. Uh, so that's the pretest. And the average was 2.3. So if you haven't started yet, expect the pretest to be challenging. But the post test is what counts. And that's our post test data right there, average 4.25. So that's a good sign. Everybody's improving their understanding by doing to this week's lesson, lesson six. Okay, so I just wanted to look at that and show you that. Looks great. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah, lesson six, I should show you, right? If you, if you haven't seen lesson six, it looks like this. And you fill it out according to this instruction. And you'll learn some things when you do that. Boom. Okay. So that's the preview of lesson six data. We're going to do the crown jewels game today. I am going to show you how it works. We, me and the team worked yesterday afternoon for about three and a half hours to try to make it ready. And then Benny, uh, Benny Duskin Feinberg was, he actually put it on his server at 4.35 this morning, 4.35 a.m. So it's hot off the presses, and I'll show you how it works. Uh, let me talk about four before I do that, because some of you might say this is important to you, right? Sign up for the Crown Jewels Tournament. So there's a document. Let's see. I can get there. Boom. Let's see what it looks like. So you get to sign up as a team, you and a buddy or two. And extra credit awarded for those who participate in the tournament. Let me show you that. Okay, so the way the tournament works is it's head-to-head -head compositions during these Zoom meetings, 11 a.m. Uh, one day per week will be reserved for the game of the week. So we're not playing every day, but we're saying one day a week, game of the week. You can have a partner, you get extra credit for participating. Even if you never win, you still get extra credit. Uh, our hope is to have at least 32 teams, and then we can have a nice bracket where it narrows down to one champion. Uh, today is this. We're practicing and debugging. Tournament starts for real next week is the, when we start the tournament. So, so far we have team number one is William and Theo. So they don't have to compete against each other. They can compete with each other. That's awesome. And... If I scroll down, there is a, an ACR sign up. It's blue, so try to, if you're ACR, you can sign up here and we'll have the ACR tournament and we'll have the chemistry tournament. And then the final, 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 final will be the ACR champion against the chemistry champion. And that will have as a, an e-sport and participants can watch and cheer on their favorite team. So that's the sign up page there. And I'm hoping that we'll get a lot of signups there over the next couple of days. Your due date for that is Monday. So you have almost a week to figure out who your buddy will be. 
All right, let's go here and actually play the game. Okay, you can see my screen, Ms. Perkins? Okay, so uh, let's see. Going to reload this one. So when you load it up, it'll, it'll look like this. And there is a die icon here. So if you played the real game, you know you have to roll the dice. Ooh, interesting. Let me try something because the music, there is music. So let's see if I can get that working or not. Okay, it's not. Oh, all right, here we go. Okay, so I rolled a die. Depending on the die roll, you get different atoms. So two is a carbon atom. I just drag it out of that space on the top and I have a carbon. I have zero points right now. I won't get any points until I make bonds or make molecules. Now I get an oxygen. So the die roll determines which atom you get. There's some music for me, good. I can make a bond between these two atoms, and these are Lewis dot puzzle pieces. So you line them up and you link them together. And you should hear a little sound saying bonding has occurred. You should see jewels appear here. I've got two jewels. This bond is a two jewel bond, and these are now linked. Roll the dice. You see, I have 20 points right now. Four is a chlorine. Drag that out. You can rotate the puzzle pieces. You can see, I, I can't stick this anywhere, but if I rotate it, which is a right mouse click, I can turn it. So if I turn it, maybe I'll put it on the top, be used like that. There's some more jewels in my bank, more points in my score. Roll the dice. Okay, now I get to show you another functionality here. Uh, you can change the form of the oxygen. Those of you who played the game in real life know that there's different types of the puzzle pieces. So on a double click, to see the puzzle piece changes. Double click again, and now I've got the double bonding form of oxygen, which will be useful here. So I would like to make a double bond with this carbon but I need this carbon to change its shape to match the double bonding shape. So I'm using this big jewel here, this big jewel. It's a bond breaker. So I put it on this bond. I say, I don't want that bond anymore. And it's unbonded and these are separate now. And I'll do that one more time. So now this carbon is all alone and now I can change its shape. So again, double click, double click. It's like jumping jacks. You can thank Kenneth Chu for this. And now watch this, boom, double bond. And that's worth four jewels. So this is a very strong bond. Lots of jewels needed to break it, which means you get a lot of jewels out when you make that bond. Uh, I can put this back if I want. I could put this back if I want. And now let's roll the dice again and I want a one, but I got a six. A six gives you all these choices. See, I've got all these choices and I can pull out anything I want. I want a hydrogen because there's one spot left to fill here and this hydrogen will fill it and I'll have a complete molecule. So again, I'll right click to rotate, right click to rotate, right click to rotate, drag it over here and say bond for me. And if you notice, I now have these molecule bonus points. This is a complete molecule and you get points for completed molecules. Since this molecule has five atoms, it's worth 40 bonus points. So I get points for the jewels and I get points for completing a molecule. I have 150 total points. You can always change it. If you say, I don't like that molecule, I want to split it up, you can do that. Um, but right now, there's no point for me to do it. This is great. I've got 150 points. Why would I change it? The game is 12 rounds. 
Uh, unfortunately, right now, this screen does not keep track of the rounds. It's something I, I know I have to do for the real tournament. So you don't know, unless you count it, you don't know how many turns you have left. You could guess, but yeah. Uh, so then you just play until you get to 12 rounds. So I'll see, I'll see if this does what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to have a game over screen when you get to 12 rounds. I'm playing really stupid and not getting any points, uh, but I'm just trying to do speed, 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 speed. All right, five, take another diatomic. Come on, you can do it. And let's get to round 12. So if I were actually playing the game, I try to make bonds and to get more points, but. Boom, boom, boom. Music is by Sebastian Fernandez. We have to do the credit screen, huh? This is like a real video game where you get the credit screen. All the people who worked on the project. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you can. All right, we should, there it is, game over. I got 180 points and I could try again. Uh, so that's how the game plays. To do this well, you'll need to actually know how the bond energy. So I'll I have to put that on screen, don't I? Oh, what a concept. Or maybe not. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay, so I'm going back here. I'm going back here. That's the game play. Your mission today is to learn how to play the game and to make suggestions for improvement. This is the, as I said, the very, very first version. It's 1.0. And you can help us make 1.2 by Tuesday when we actually start the tournament. All right. If you have a question right now that you think would be appropriate to ask in this all class environment, please ask your question in the text or raise your hand and I will be able to hear your question out loud. Okay, nothing there, nothing there. All right, then what's going to happen now is let's play. So how will this work? Well, let me, let me, let me, let me think about this. I'm going to put you in small groups. So you will in the text chat box if you have a person who you know is here in this in this zoom meeting that you'd like to be placed with in other words you're making a team right on the spot here saying i want to be with blank put that blank in the text chat and i'll be able to with some skill i think i'll be able to put you in a in a, one of the breakout rooms together and then you can talk to each other and I will visit room to room and you'll tell me this doesn't work or it'd be nice if you had this instead of that. Uh, oh, there's one more thing I didn't show you, huh? Which was the music. The music. Okay, I'm showing this without actually showing, demonstrating it. So live instruction today, I showed you how to roll the die, rotate items with a right click, double click to change the forms of the carbons and the oxygens. So there's two songs for the music. If you can remember, you can play with this. Type, type the letter M on your keyboard and the letter N on your keyboard, and it'll change the music. If you're saying, I don't want the music, you press X, and that torpedoes the music. All right, let's play. So make that readable. That's two-point font. OK, you can get there with the tinyurl.com slash crownjewels9. Crown Jewels Nine will get you to the will get you to here, but it won't say game over. It'll say that, right? It'll say that. So try to do that, but also try to show me in the text chat who do you want your buddy to be? 
and I'll make a bunch of breakout rooms and we'll put people to do that, to play. All right, here we go. I'm going to make, we have 27 participants. How about I make 10 rooms? I made 11, okay. Create rooms. Monitoring the text chat. All right, Cole and Amar are going to be a team. Great. Sylvia and Kenya are a team. Danny and Catherine are a team. Okay, let's put in breakout room number one, Amar and Cole and Sylvie and Kenya. Okay, that sounds reasonable to me. That's kind of like, like your ACR team. Let me shake it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, Catherine and Danny will go in that. Okay, there you go. So that's breakout room one. Kenneth asks a question. Are, contrib are contributors allowed to play in the tournament? Uh, I think so, sure, why not? All right. Okay, I'm not seeing other requests. I'm going to do this kind of randomly, but kind of not. Okay, let's put Anna and Cassidy and I'll kind of do this by period, huh? By period. All right. Okay, we'll put William and Theo in there too. Great, that's breakout room two. Breakout room three, we'll have some ACR people. There we go, that's great, that's great. All right. Ooh, maybe we'll put six in room three. Now I've got more, okay, here we go. Breakout room four will be Kenya and Sylvie and Tyne. That sounds fine, breakout room five. Jack, Logan, Luke, Matt, Mr. Myers, Sophia. Okay, good. Breakout room six. Okay, that looks good. All right, I think I've assigned everybody to a room. I'm opening the rooms. So when you get to your room, there should be three or four or five people in the room. I encourage you to talk to each other. Unmute yourself. I'll jump from room to room. Ms. Perkins, you also get to jump from room to room. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Isabella. All right, was Isabella here? I don't think Isabella was here. Okay, beautiful. What's up? All right, excellent. We've got four ACR yeah. people here. Yeah. Yep. Sick. Has anybody successfully started the game? I have, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm getting on it now. Great. Um, I mean, it's having a slow. <laughs> okay, I'll come back in a little bit and you can tell me what worked for you, what didn't work for you. What didn't work for you. All right, sounds like a plan. Hello, Anna, Cassidy, William, Theo. Hello, I'm Mr. Sogo. Hi, has anybody been able to start the game yet? What's Did the you... tiny URL? Tinyurl.com. Here, let me share it in the chat. I can share it in the chat, right? Chat. Do, 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 do. tinyurl.com slash brown jewels nine. Okay, I should send that to everyone. Okay. All right, so look in the chat and see if you can get the link there. Thank you for asking. I'll be back in a couple minutes to see how you're doing. Okay, these are all ACR people 
There's Autumn. Good Hello. to see you, Autumn. Awesome. Likewise. Have you been able to access the game yet? No, uh, none of us caught the link in time. Okay, you need the link? Yes. Yes, please. Yes. I'm putting it in the chat. Tinyurl.com slash crown jewels nine. Okay. So that's in the chat for you, and you should be able to access it there. And I'll come back in a couple minutes, see how you're doing. Okay. Good. All right. Sylvia is here. Kenya is here. Tyne is here. Have you been able to start the game? Um, my computer just Not started yet. working. It was loading, but now it's, so I'm going to it right now. Okay, so Sylvie's okay. Ken, you're okay? Yes, it's loading. Okay, it is loading. How about you, Tyne? Um, I still got to go to the... Uh, Do you know the, the link? Yeah. Shall I put the link in the chat? Sure. Okay. Yeah, that helps. All right, tinyurl.com slash crown jewels nine. Okay, so I put that link in the chat there, Tyne, so that may help you out. I'll come back in a couple minutes, see how it's working for you. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, how are we doing here? Hey, good. Uh, I believe everyone has their game running and they're testing things out, seeing how it's going. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, Mrs. Perkins wanted to have me tell you that she is not able to go to other rooms right now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's a host privilege, huh? Yeah, I think so. I don't see an option. To... A co-host can't do that. All right, yeah. thank you for relaying the message. Yes. No so problem. I will whoo, assign his Perkins to a room. How about uh, room six? Okay, there we go. All right, thank you. Yep. Uh, I'll come back in a couple minutes and you can give me an update. Sure. Go on to room six. Okay. Or okay, I see something happening there. Yes, Kale is playing. I'm finding the link for Gavin. You got a bunny oxygen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And more oxygen, which you don't need. <laughs> I just have a lot of oxygen. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> okay, so now you want to try to unbond. Have you tried to unbond yet? Yeah. And uh, if you switch the carbon forms, you can make molecules. So you should do that. But you, have, oh. yeah, you don't want to make a huge, huge long chain. You want to complete the molecule. So you'll never complete it that way. But if you, if you, you know what to do, Mrs. Perkins, in this situation? Um, I would make multiple smaller molecules. Exactly. So double click that, double click that oxygen. Double click it, double click it again. Double click it again. There you go. Uh, if you use that type of oxygen and you make a carbon like that as well, you'll be in much better shape because you'll be able to complete it. So unbond that last carbon, double click it until it gets to a double bonding form. Then you can make molecules and you'll, 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 uh, you'll get a lot more points that way. Oh, are you unable to double click the carbon? The carbon won't turn uh, into something okay. else. Okay, okay. Try with the next carbon. That's a, that's a bug I know about. That, that, uh, oop. Try one more time. There we go, okay. And now if you do that, I think it'll work. You'll be able to change that carbon. Are you having met and you're, you're, yeah, okay. Let's see. Is there a reason why you're having difficulty unbonding? Okay, try that, try that one. This, isn't, this one isn't turning either. Okay, all right. All right, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so you have Gavin and Sean and Kale. All right, and this is Kale I'm watching? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you, Kale. Your yeah. play has provided some, yeah, there you go. You can make that molecule right there. Nice, there it is. Oh. Okay, you need to start over. Just reload the reload the scene <laughs> and start over. Giant okay. molecule. All right, I'm going to the next breakout room. Do, 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 do. That was a, a double bond. All right, who who's 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 got something on screen? Uh, I can share screen. I have a few I things. Cole, yeah, let's see what you got. Look, got a bar. Cole, um, Captain Danny. What do I? Do? Do that. Uh, there should be a green button that says share. Ah, here we go. I got it. Okay. Um, so one thing I noticed is that you can't um, rotate these if you wanted to. Yes. When um, you're bonded, you can't rotate. Because that yeah. got complicated. Um, I imagine, yeah. Um, but... but um, then there's also this. Um, so... There's also this. so Hold on. Hold on. Um, when you get, or like when you roll six and you grab a double bond. Yeah, let me see if I can get an example. If I can get an example. You don't get automatic don't dual get credit automatic for it. Dual credit for there, it. There, so look. Like, so if I drag so this out, so I, drag this. I don't get any credit for it. But then if I just break it, but then if I just break it and re put it together, I'll get put it on. together. I'll get. Hold on. There we go. Uh. Okay. I'll get credit for it like this if I rebond it. So then I get credit for it. So I don't know if that's if that's how you want it to be, um, or not. Wait, put it on the bond itself. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> um, so that was my only thing is that um, I don't know how you guys want to design it, but like if you roll six and you get a double bond and all you do is separate it and rebond it, you'll get extra points for it. Um, <laughs> For me, I just keep repeatedly pushing the molecules off the screen while trying to bond them. Um, are you guys getting that problem where, like, I have, like, two hydrogens stuck behind my molecule that I can't get it, get at anymore? Yeah, that happens. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's weird. Uh... But like I've just like lost hydrogen to like the void it's behind impossible. my oxygen yeah, chain. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like our main thing is not losing our atoms. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Work with me here. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that I thought that I was gonna just roll off the screen. That would be funny. <laughs> no, well now it's definitely lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hydrogen just got like completely blocked off by another bond and it's like disappeared. Catherine, are, are you able to share your screen so I can see what you mean by the hydrogen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid? Yes. Here, I'll end share screen. Hold on. Ah. There we go. There we go. The void. Oh, hold on. <sighs> I was messing around with it, and it is in fact it's possible it to make your molecule off the screen. To lose your molecule off the screen. Uh, okay. Well, I'm having troubles with my computer settings. It says I have to click on the uh, application in order to reset the settings. So um, I'll just describe it. So what's happening is um, 
on my okay. molecule, Danny, Danny, are can you, hydrogens Danny, that are. Can you, hold on, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Danny, are you able to share yours? Danny, are you able to share yours? Here? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I just probably. regretted it because the, the game ended. Because the game ended. But I can share. Because it'll be easier to talk of, for Catherine to talk if there's a picture. Okay, you can tell me what to do, I guess. Okay. So. There's a hydrogen. There's a hydrogen. There's a hydrogen. Good. I'm just going to keep rolling for now and try to mimic what happened with you, Catherine, I guess. Oh, yeah. So what ended up happen happening was I had a chain of um, atoms and it was like a carbon and a few oxygens and they were all like branching out. And then I went to put a hydrogen onto one of the ends to cap one of the ends. And um, I like dropped it in the middle of the molecule and then I couldn't like pick it back up again. It stuck behind the other ones okay. or I can't like. Um, so like, it's a it big anymore. enough mm -hmm. cluster of atoms that the hydrogen would be obscured if it went behind. Yeah. yeah. I have an example of it. Do you want me to share screen? You have yeah, it. Yeah, I'm uh, trying to like figure out the, the, Okay. Go ahead and try to yeah, get you can do it. We should be able to do multiple screen shares. So try and Or you can stop mine for now. Okay. All right, sure. Thank you. Okay, so that is there. There's a yeah. hydrogen there. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's like stuck in a place that it shouldn't be stuck in. Intriguing. Intriguing. Okay, I think I understand that. Um, Drag your jewel onto the confluence of oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon and see if anything happens. Okay, something did happen. Something did happen. Okay, I think I understand okay. that. Thank you for pointing it out. Is that, is that what happened to you, Catherine? Is that what happened to you, Catherine? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I know I know what that is. I know how to fix it. Great. Thank you. Right. I'm going to the next one. Cool. Hello, I'm back. Um, can someone share a screen and show me what you've been up to? Um, my like computer has like, has like kicked me out of the thing. So I've had to restart twice. Okay. Anybody else have similar problems? I'll take the silence as a no. Uh, Anna, are you able to share your screen to show me what you've done? Um, I'll try. Okay, yeah, exactly, try. William or Theo, you know how to share a screen. Uh, if you're able to, then it'll, it'll help me out to know where you are. Yeah, of course. I'll share my screen if you'd like, Mr. Sogo. Thank you. Whoa, colorful. Okay, so you okay, have... So Quite a few jewels, and yeah. you have, looks like one complete molecule there, mm -hmm. and some partial molecules there, huh? Yeah, I was just kind of experimenting to see the kind of the mechanics of the program. I yeah, noticed exactly. Go ahead. Yeah, I I noticed um, uh, kind of this this molecule. It would be nice if you could right click it and kind of rotate it if that makes sense yeah okay uh, so you would like to rotate the whole group cluster yeah specifically um two atom molecules that kind of need to be shifted to to bond with a larger molecule it'd be nice if you could kind of rotate them if that makes sense it does make sense i will look into that possibility yeah yeah I don't know. right now only single atoms can be rotated mm -hmm. that's only uh, a minor thing i noticed but okay great Great, great, great. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to break bonds? Yeah, here. Perfect. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, super. Yeah, you just have to be, well, 
cooking the 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 jewel and the dice you have to be really i guess accurate when doing it because if you kind of erratically kind of click it it won't work at first if that makes sense you have to kind of i don't want to say patient but kind of have it at the right spot i don't know if that makes sense yeah we've had problems with that it, it's it, mm -hmm. we don't know how to fix it yeah like dragging this hydrogen atom it's yeah. you have to kind of drag it at the exact right spot if that makes sense okay so you think it's a spot huh there's i, I the, i'm not sure of it but probably yeah, yeah. right mm -hmm. the target may be too small and if we exactly make it bigger more forgiving yeah. it would be better so you don't have to go two times or three times yeah come on come on, come on. <laughs> exactly yeah okay perfect perfect anything to mm -hmm. add theo or anna I'll take that as uh, oh yeah go ahead. Couldn't hear you, Theo. Uh, may I please share my screen? Here, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop sharing. Okay, great. Yes, thank you, Theo. Okay, looks good. Is that that oxygen looks strange? Uh, yeah, I found a glitch. Is it stuck there? Yes. See? I see. So it thinks it's bonded, even though it shouldn't be. Yes. Okay. Thank you for finding that. That's a pretty big glitch that needs to be fixed. I have an idea what would cause that, and I'll do some testing to find out if my hypothesis is validated. All right, cool. Okay, so the oxygen was overlapping with something that's already bonded. Yeah. And it's not, yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, thank you. Anything else? No. Okay, I'll go to the next breakout room. Thank you, thank you all. Your feedback is very valuable. Admit the new version, but yeah, we we're, we're fixing How are we doing that. here? How are you? Good. Doing pretty well, I think. Okay. Can anybody show me a screen? Your screen. I got three hundred ten points. That's pretty Just finished. Unfortunately, and the best job is to make the the sort of score ranking saying like they have a Buzz Lightyear at Disneyland. If you got a million points, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth's doing that. All right, can you share your screen, Nathan? You yes. It says share screen. I can share my screen. So some people have found some weird glitches that you can get Adam stuck in strange positions. Has anybody here experienced that? Yeah. I have a tilted O2. Is it worth sharing, Kenneth? Um, I guess the multiple participants can share. All right, this is Nathan? Yes. Yes. Okay, that looks great. Look at that molecule. Yeah. Okay. And then the other molecule is growing, and you have 17 joules collected, 70 bonus points. That's actually not the right number, is it? Yeah, it's it's not yeah. what we... But I, I know what it is. I, I think I know what it is. I have a list of, of bugs that I'm going to fix while well, the team is going to fix. Okay. And that can go right there. Kapling. Good. One, two. Okay. All right. So for people to play intelligently, they need to know the scoring system. Um, have any of you, uh, I think it was Danny, Danny Gagne said that it's possible to have molecules to knock them off the screen. Ooh. So that, okay, let me try that. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you could definitely pull. Oh, yep. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> My alkene is gone. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> how, how did you do that, Autumn? Are you able to share with me? Share yeah, I can share. Okay. Um, share I don't know if it's helpful because now it's empty, but ah. I just kind of swiped and dragged my mouse and let go and it slid off the screen. 
So you oh, so empty looking screen at, right looking now. At Nathan's looking at Nathan's screen right now, or maybe you can put mm -hmm. something on your screen and then it won't be empty. Yes, maybe we'll do that. Okay, put something on your screen and it won't be empty. Then you can show me how to have molecules fly away. Wait, Nathan, you drag it. Try to drag your molecule off the screen. Okay. Uh, like keep a, pushing it, like let go, and then take the chlorine, and then push that further to the right. Oh yeah, if you like let go, you can you can push it off the screen. Yeah, so if you let go, you can't control it again. Okay. Okay, and maybe if you collide can them, can you see the, my the other one off the screen? Sure. Try that, Nathan. If you push push the other one, just can you push it? No, 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 no. Uh, have, have one collide with the other. Have the truck collide with the car and the car goes flying off the screen. Truck, oh, yeah. boom. Can you see my oh, screen? Okay. I will look, share it. I will change. Oh, you did it. Okay. I'm changing to Autumn's screen. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I see a molecule, a partial molecule. Yeah, you're not getting that back. No, it's gone. <laughs> Off screen. Bye-bye. Okay, so maybe some sort of <laughs> barrier detection, edge edge of screen detection, don't lose your molecules off the edge is uh, something we need to add. Okay, great, thank you. Any other comments, questions, suggestions? Yeah, I think having a counter on the side of showing what bonds you have and how many points each one is worth might help. Okay. Um, to think toggling back and forth to the sheet is kind of annoying. Yes, exactly. Exactly. We don't want that. So having the ability to look at the bond energy matrix, it wouldn't, well, I don't know if it's a matrix, but anyway, yeah, the bond energies need to be visible on that screen. And so you don't have to toggle back and forth. Okay, good. And also the point values for com completed molecules should be visible. So you're not guessing how many points is that worth? Okay, great. Thank you. I'll visit another breakout room. I do have a certain limited amount of breaks you can do. Uh, Sherry, can oh. you share your screen, Sylvie, and, and show me what you're doing? And maybe it'll be easier to understand what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, sure. I think, okay. Uh, share screen. Okay. Okay, yeah. And then I'm just trying to break. I think after a certain amount of breaks, I like can't break the bond. I guess. Okay, so you're unable to break that bond. Yeah. Is is the bond you previously broke between the carbon double bond and oxygen? It looks like you just broke that one. Uh, yeah, I broke that one, and I also broke this one. Is there a certain limit? You there's not a limit, but there may be a bug that gets introduced when you broke the carbon oxygen double bond. Will they go back together or not? Yeah, they just went back together. Okay, and then that could okay. break. And now you can break that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so no, what you're running into as far as you can't break the bond, you see that you only have two joules left. Oh, got it. So I can't. And some of these joules. bonds take more than two joules to break. So that's oh. what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a, a a warning or a message on screen saying you don't have enough joules to break this bond. Oh, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay, and sometimes, sure. like on this one, I can't drag the molecule that's at the top. Sometimes, but I guess that's just. I don't Are really you know. able eventually to do it if you try enough times, or? Yeah, I think so. That's usually how it's been working. Okay, so that's something that oh yes yeah see, I, that now it dragged okay. yes yeah, sometimes it drags and sometimes it doesn't but it so, usually it eventually works yeah I, i've noticed that problem where sometimes you're saying come on come on out of there and it, it doesn't and but if you keep trying you can do it eventually but it's just annoying yeah no i think it's fine yeah it works pretty good for me okay great great great, great. so the suggestion is that there should be a way for you to view the bond energy table so yeah. you know ahead of time that this is a two joule bond and this is a three joule bond, et cetera. Yeah. We could uh, like add, like pull up one on another tab if that can't happen too. Right, that's the workaround. But uh, yeah. since I have 
a week to make this better, then that's that's on the list of things to do. Great. Okay. Uh, is that chlorine on the right duck? No, it's not stuck. Some people are finding you can stick stick atoms where they shouldn't stick, so you make spurious bonds. And, yeah. Uh, that's something we'll need that. to fix. I think Catherine okay. Kaiser said, I just stuck my hydrogen here and I can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you have you decided on college, Sylvie? Uh no, not yet. I'm still kind of in the process of figuring it out. Okay. Uh, I went to visit some colleges this weekend, but just you have visited? Uh, yeah, I just went to up uh, to Berkeley. Okay. Uh, this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Was it a ghost town? Um, yeah, it was pretty, it was kind of crazy. It was pretty empty. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool to see. Okay. So that's like, I think one of the, that's just like one of the only UCs I hadn't really visited yet. So that was good to see. Just so I could have a better understanding of my choices, I guess. Yeah. So what are you trying to decide between? Um, well, probably... I mean, I'm on the wait list for Columbia, so that's not really, I have to choose a, I, I guess I'm just focusing on um, the UCs more right now, um, because I would have to put a deposit down for one of them before I know for Columbia. Yeah. But um, I think I'm choosing between like UCLA, Berkeley, um, and then UCSB has really good dance, so I'm kind of that's still in my options, but Santa I'm not Barbara? really sure. Yeah, Santa Barbara has really good dance, okay. and then UCLA has UCLA and Berkeley have decent dance. So, okay, yeah, okay. I'm just kind of researching all of them right now. All yeah. right, I am going to suggest. So I'll try to get you in contact via email with Lisa C2. She's going to do one of the webinars in a couple of weeks, but she's a UCLA graduate. Okay. And maybe biochemistry, I think. Okay. So she'd be a good person to talk to. She's at Harvard Medical School doing a PhD now. Okay. Thank so you so much. Yeah. She's, she's good to talk to. And I think you'd, find a lot of common ground with her. Okay, thank so you. Let, yeah. Let me let me put you in contact with Lisa. Okay, thanks so much. All right, good. Okay, any other comments, questions, thing weird things you found with the game? No, it worked pretty well. I just, yeah, go ahead, Kenya, sorry. Um, I just have like the same thing as Catherine's where something like falls on top of another, it's hard to remove it. But other than that, it's been good. Okay, great, 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 great. And you, Tyne? Um, I had I had that same thing where like if one falls on the other one weird, it kind of doesn't work. Okay, right. gets stuck Other there, yeah. Otherwise, like, yeah, it worked fine. The only thing was that I didn't realize that um, the gem, like breaking the bonds used energy because there's no like, I didn't realize that, so. Yeah, so making that more obvious is a good thing, huh? This, yeah. this to break this bond costs two jewels or three jewels or whatever. Okay, that's a great suggestion. Let me put it on my list of things to do. Do, 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 do. All right, very good. Well, I'm happy to see you here and hope you can sign up on the tournament list. Uh, so that we can have some fun with that over the next couple weeks. Boom. Let me find the tournament.